What's up guys? Today is a big day because today I'm gonna share all of my voiceovers from the first day from the first day that I started learning English, you know, when I was a beginner. So basically today I'm gonna show you every single one of my voiceovers, you know, starting from 2018 and you know how I improve my speaking skill, how my pronunciation and my accent has changed over the years. And basically you're gonna see me how I improve my speaking skill step by step every step of the way during those years, okay? Okay, this video is so important because after watching this video, you're gonna be like, oh my God, Arsene, you're speaking so bad. Your English is, your English was way worse than my English, okay? And you're gonna be like, oh my God, if this dude speaks English fluently, if this dude is able to make videos in English, I can very well speak English fluently. But before we get started with this video, I just wanna say that what was my level at the beginning i can tell you that five years ago i started learning english from scratch when i say to you like i started learning english from scratch as a beginner what i mean is for instance you know when i was watching harry potter i there was a time where i was trying to figure out how to learn english do you see that i can let you out hedwig and i you can see that i looked up in the dictionary what let you out meant So basically, I couldn't even understand what let you out meant, or I couldn't even understand like, for instance, you know, legendary. I didn't even know what legendary meant. I learned this word from Barney, from How I Met Your Mother. So basically, my English is so bad, and you're gonna see that. And the other thing is, during these five years, I never taken a class, I never been abroad so far, okay? I never had a chance to talk to someone in English, so basically I had to improve my speaking skill just on my own. By the way, I'm not gonna lie, uh, just a few months ago, my cousin came from Australia to Turkey with his family, and that was like the only time I ever had conversation in English in my entire life, okay? Okay, the first voiceover that I'm gonna share with you guys from 2000, 2018, and I'm gonna timestamp every single voiceovers uh, so basically you're gonna see year by year, you know, how my voice and accent and pronunciation everything has shifted over the years So this is the first clip. This is like the first time I tried to speak English in my entire life All right, so I'm back in high school. I'm standing in the middle of the cafeteria and I realize I am totally naked oh. All of a sudden the phone starts to ring <laughs> and it turns out it's my mother. Uh, okay, this is so embarrassing, guys. This is so embarrassing, okay? This is from uh, 2018. I'm back in art school and in the middle of cafeteria, in the middle of cafeteria. Yeah, and I realized, I look, I look down and I realized I am totally, totally naked. I'm totally, can you believe that? Yeah, I have a dream. I have a dream. So then the phone, uh, I looked down and I realized there is a phone. And you know, uh, it turns out, and the phone starts to ring, it's, the phone starts to ring, and it turns out it's my mother. Uh, this is the first time that I try to speak English. So, let me tell you that, uh, I was working with those scripts. As you can see guys, I just want to uh, very briefly show you this. I used to download those scripts, you know, from France for instance. I used to download those scripts and I would work with, on those scripts. Like, I would try to repeat their lines without looking at the text. For instance, you know, in this voiceover, I say that I'm back in high school in the middle of the cafeteria and I realize I'm totally naked. And for instance, at first, I will try to say it, you know, looking at the text, and then I will try to say it without looking at the text. And this is what I do in this voiceover. I just try to repeat their lines without looking at the text, okay? There's nothing to tell. It's just some guy I work with. Come on. You're going out with the guy. There's got to be something wrong with him. This is not even a date. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> There's nothing to tell. There's nothing to tell. It's just... It's just, uh, you know, it's just a dead. It's just not even a dead. It's, it sounds like dead to me. It sounds like dead to me. You know, what's wrong with you? What's the, what's the big deal? I can't even tell you guys how hard it was for me to say even those basic lines. There is nothing to tell. It was just so hard to say that. It's just, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a dead. Do you see that? It's just, it's just, it's just a date. It's just not even a dead. It sounds like dead to me. You know, what's wrong with you? What's the what's the big deal? This is just so embarrassing, okay? What What's wrong with you? I mean, I can't say it, okay? I struggle. I just so bad struggle with saying those basic lines. Okay, so basically, what I'm trying to tell here, if you struggle with pronouncing every single word, you know, you might be struggling even with saying like, 
What is wrong with you? What's the deal? If you struggle saying those words, it's just so normal. Don't think that I was like speaking English fluently. It's because at first your muscles are not used to say those words uh, in another language, you know? Because you gotta prepare your muscles. You gotta exercise. And this is where I do shadow practice. Shadowing is the best exercise for you to pronounce words properly. Like, uh, it's an exercise method. And you're gonna see me doing exercise in this clip. Finally, brothers in film, Mark and Jay Duplass, chronicle their directing and acting careers in a new book. They sat down with Jeffrey Brown recently in the latest edition of the NewsHour Bookshelf. Something's wrong, guys. Finally, brothers in film, Mark and Jay Duplass, chronicle their directing and acting careers in a new book. They sat down with Jeffrey Brown recently in the latest edition of the NewsHour Bookshelf. Something's wrong, guys. This is such a good uh, example of shadowing and also at the same time I just want to say that this clip I recorded my voice after like practicing uh, going over this text you know transcript maybe you know more than 20 times okay uh, but this is such a good example this is June uh, 2018 and this is another attempt of me uh, try to speak uh, try to say those lines from friends. I am back in high school in the middle of the cafeteria and uh, I realize I'm totally, totally naked. Of course, there is no script here. I just try to speak without looking at the script, okay? This is not a shadowing, this is just a speaking practice. Can you believe it? Anyway, so yeah, I had a dream. I had a dream. And then uh, the phone starts to, starts to ring and it turns out it's my mother. The phone starts to ring, this is better. You can see that in six months, there is a progress, a little bit. Okay, now uh, 2018, by the end of the year, it's gonna be almost a year. Oh, thank you for coming back to the this show. This is so fun, thank you for having me. Uh, happy, happy birthday. Thank uh, you. When was it, last week? Two days ago. Your birthday I, was two days ago. It was two this, days ago, I turned 30. This is the big, oh. What do you feel? I'm 30. What, what do you, what's going through a 30 year old mind? I mean, I feel, I feel pr pretty 30. Thank you for coming back to the show. This, this is so funny. Thank you for having me. Happy birthday. Thank you. When was it last week? Two days ago. Two days ago. Your birthday was two days ago. I was two days ago. I turned 30. What do you feel? I'm 30. What's what's going through a 30 year old mind? I mean, I feel pretty 30. I feel, but what does that mean? I mean, feeling 30. It's I, not old, but it's no. not not old. What does, what does that mean? I mean, feeling 30. It's not old, but it's not not old. Also, I remember that I used to work with this clip so much. For instance, you know, whenever I was on the way to university, you know, I, I was taking the subway to go to university. Whenever I was on the subway, I used to have this clip repeat again and again. I used to watch this video again and again, again and again, maybe like two weeks or three weeks, you know. I used to listen to it so that, you know, I can get familiar with their accent, I can get familiar with the way they speak, I can get familiar with the way they pronounce words and everything. 2019, July. Uh, Monica's now Monica speaks. This is the Monica's line. Monica says they are in the as as you can see they are in the computer and they are uh, Monica they are sitting on the couch and they are having conversation and Monica says, "Come on, uh, there is nothing to tell. It's, it's just some guy work. It's, it's a really nice uh, sentence. It's really nice. Uh, you can hear the sound of my slippers. I'm just wandering in the hall and I'm just like you know pacing around and then just talking to myself like a lunatic person. As you guys know. Uh, I also learned English with The Crown, which is a really great, which is a really beautiful British TV show. First of all, I just want to say this. I was doing those shadowing practices not because I wanted to have an accent, okay? It's just because there was two reasons for that. First of all, I just wanted to speak fluently. I just wanted to be able to pronounce words properly. And the second reason, for instance, I uh, did shadowing practice with this clip uh, and with The Crown because I was struggling with listening, okay? I was struggling with understanding British accents. For instance, I, I was understanding American accent because I wasn't exposing myself to American accent all the time. But when it comes to understanding like British TV shows, I was really struggling. Believe me when I say this, I wasn't even able to pick out a few words from the crown. So this is why I did shadow practice because while well, you try to repeat your lines, over time you start to get familiar with the way they speak you know how they pronounce words and when you understand how they pronounce words 
you basically you're basically able to pick up what they say you know understand what they say without subtitles okay look at this guy peter peter morgan if we could start with you mm. could you give us take us through the gestation of this series where it came from it ca it, it started i suppose a few years ago with the, the film with helen, <laughs> helen mirren and those are very sensitive microphones. And then, <laughs> and then it, uh, I so enjoyed writing those audience scenes that I then wrote a play based on those audience scenes, uh, which Helen was also in. The, ones I mo the one I most enjoyed writing was the one between the young Elizabeth and uh, Churchill, because it just felt so surprising and shocking to be writing about her as a young woman. Peter Morgan, if we could start with you, could you give us take us through the could you give us take us through the gestation of the series, uh, where it came from? I started. It started, I suppose, a few years ago with the film Her with the film Helen Mirren, and uh, those are very sensitive microphones. And then the, I'm so enjoyed writing about uh, writing those audience scenes that I then wrote a play based on those audience scenes, which Helen also enjoyed writing, was the one between young Elizabeth and Churchill, because it just felt so surprising and shocking to be writing about her as a young woman and that relationship, you know. Uh, when I was doing the shadowing practices with The Crown, with the TV show itself and with these uh, videos, YouTube videos, I started to understand The Crown, the British accent, British TV shows without subtitles. Okay guys, so I'm gonna stop the video right here because this video is gonna take longer than 15 minutes and when it takes longer than 15 minutes i'm not able to export the videos because i am editing my videos on my you know iphone please excuse that but tomorrow at the same exact time i'm gonna post the second part of this video so far you saw my voiceovers from the very beginning you know 2018 and as of tomorrow you're gonna see that you're gonna see one of the videos that i posted on youtube like two years ago and then i deleted it so you're gonna see my first youtube video from two years ago you're gonna see how i was speaking how my english was and then most importantly tomorrow you're gonna see the drastic progress huge progress i made in these two years with learning english youtube videos because there was like two important part in my learning this process the first two years I learned English with friends, with House of Cards and The Crown. Basically, I learned English with TV shows. The second part of my English learning process, I started using a new method. I applied this new method to my life, and that was learning English with use of video scripts. If I have to say a final word for this video, as you can see, guys, my first voiceovers, the first time that I tried to learn English in my entire life. This voiceover that you see at the beginning of the video was like one of the most embarrassing voiceovers, but at the same time, these embarrassing voiceovers got me to that level where I'm able to speak English. So basically, no matter how bad you're speaking, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're not even able to say like one single word in English, but it doesn't matter because as you guys can see, you make progress, you're gonna make a progress and you're gonna see the second part of this progress tomorrow at this at 9 a.m. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.